I'm just trying to figure out what do you guys, what do you do? Like how, how do people get through this? Because I'm literally homeless at this moment. God, this is depressing. This is not me. Ah. I'm just looking for light now. I don't know where it is. Welcome back, family. Today, we will review this 45-year-old woman who decided to destroy her own family by divorcing her husband so that she can go have some fun. Then, she find herself homeless and begging for money on the internet because of her poor life decisions. Let's jump in. Hi. Remember me? I know I've been kind of MIA lately. And this is going to be a video like I've never done before. Um, if you've been following me for a while, uh, this is a good one for you. If you haven't, you feel free to just scroll by. But um, those of you who've been on here for a while know that I um, was, uh, I went through a divorce and I was staying with a friend um, because I didn't have a place to stay. And that was four months ago that I've been staying there and I no longer have a place to stay and I've been looking for a while. Um, some of you know and some of you don't that I um, have a lot of medical issues. I've had 33 surgeries, so I desperately need to keep my um, insurance. Um, anyways, yeah i'm not asking for money i'm not one of those people i don't ask for help i'm ridiculously stubborn um ridiculously stubborn i think i'm just trying to figure out if anyone has advice or guidance on what you do in this situation um because i'm literally homeless at this moment um yeah i'm looking in different cities uh states um, yeah, I've always used humor to get me through stuff because like some of my funniest stuff on my TikTok has been during my hardest time of my life. And, um, right now I'm just, I'm desperate and I'm trying to figure out how to make it through this. And, um, my budget is low is the problem. Um, and I'm trying to figure out how to increase my budget, but I know I keep looking around and I normally look right at the camera, but this is humiliating. Like I said, I'm not asking for your money. I'm just trying to figure out what do you guys, what do you do? Like how, how do people get through this? Cause I'm single. I don't have small kids. There's just not funding for people like me. So God, this is fun. This is not me. Ah! She is a 45-year-old woman. She has two grown children, a 25-year-old daughter and a 28-year-old son. She divorces her husband and finds herself in the streets now. I will show you how her bad decisions got her here later on with some other clips. Now, after receiving help from the simps for her first crying for help video, she made another video to beg for more. Well... You know, when you're like super desperate and you're, oh, maybe you don't know, but you're looking at apartments or cars, whatever it is, and you see one and you're like, you try to picture your life in there and you think this is really, really terrible, but maybe I can make it work. I just did that. I thought, maybe I can make this work, and I go outside of it, and there's, um, <laughs> uh, there's someone who works there, and I ask her, I was like, can you please just tell me honestly how safe this place is, because it's definitely in a bad area. And she looked at me and kind of looked around and she said, Honey, you're too pretty to live here. You're, you'll get hurt. Mm -mm. 
problem is I can't afford the places I won't get hurt. <laughs> I'm beginning to get down. I don't want to get down. I've always been told that I have, like, people love me for my energy. People want me around because I have great energy. Um, people fall in love with my energy. Um, they always talk about my light. Which is funny. And I'm just looking for light now. I don't know where it is. You lost your light when you decided to leave your husband and destroy your own family. Fellas, do not feel sorry for women like her who cry for help on the internet because they are master manipulators. Now, I will show you clips that will demonstrate to you that all her problems and wounds are self-inflected. Let's start by how she decided to divorce her husband out of the blue and go to stay at her friend's house because she always knows that someone will always bail her out. Do I look bored? Because I am. So, uh, my friend and her husband went to Italy. You know, I mean, my dream place. It's no big deal. Whatever, you know, whatever. Um, and I am house-sitting, let's fix that, for, I don't know, I think I'm here for like 18 days. Okay, this is interesting. Um, I brought my little psycho dog for some entertainment. That's all I have. I'm two hours away from anything and anyone that I know. There's no shows I want to watch. So what do I do? Like play solitaire? Up for suggestions. After her home sitting days ran out, she decided to go have some more fun with her daughter. Now I want you to know that her primary reason to taking her daughter on trips is selfish. She is doing it so that she can feel young again by competing with her daughter for attention. You can see it on this next clip when she talks about the moment her daughter started to get her first cat calls and how she felt. Um, so my friends come home tomorrow and then I leave here Saturday. Then my daughter and I are going to the. What is happening here? <laughs> my daughter and I are going to the Dominican for some beach time for our yearly mother daughter trip. She's 25 and gorgeous. I remember when, like, the first time she started getting her cat calls and. I was like chopped liver. That's when I realized that I was getting old. I see this toxic dynamic of single mothers trying to compete with their daughters for attention all the time. They make sure that they keep their daughters single so that they can use them as emotional tampons because misery loves company. Usually their daughters start to secretively resent them in their old age. But by that time, it's usually too late for the daughters raised in this type of dynamic to change their ways. And the cycle repeats itself generation after generation. Here's an example on how she is influencing her daughter to get more tattoos and going out to party with her. Okay, show me this look. Whoa. Whoa, is this Vera Wang? Oh, Vera Bradley. Oh, Chanel. You're so sexy. Your cutest mother daughter duo in history. This woman just ended her marriage so that she can go back to the streets and get pumped and dumped. Check it out. Hello, Amy Ashley. Oh, it's a video. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Hello, Mr. Millionaire. How was your mimosa? I need another one. Really? Yes. I think so too. I definitely know so. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Let's see about getting me another one. For sure. So, we are two TikTokers. They're meeting for the first time today. This is actually how she blew all her money and find herself homeless, begging for help on the internet. That's why we don't have any sympathy for these type of women. They decided to destroy their own home willingly just to come back crying for help when things get tough. Fellas, protect yourself at all times against these types of women because they always come to you with a smile and a pretty face. Above all, keep your head up, focus on your goals, and everything else will follow. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I also have an announcement. The channel memberships are now open. So if you want all the perks, priority to replies, or even private chats, don't hesitate to press that join button to be part of the family. I love you and I appreciate you for all your support. Please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and share to help push this content to more men. I'm out. Peace.